Hey guys, Tracy here. Um, forgive me, this is a different camera setup than I'm used to, obviously, so um, bear with me as I learn how to operate this. Um, my husband did some maintenance for me last night, which I asked him to do on my com laptop, and my normal camera program is gone, and I don't know where it went. <laughs> went to the abyss into my laptop. And he'll have to look at it tonight. But it is what it is. <clears throat> Chill out, woman. I'm telling myself. I'm not mad at him. I just, I get frustrated when I can't figure stuff out immediately. It is August 17, 2015, Monday morning. It is almost 11 a.m. here in Wyoming. It is about 75 degrees. Um, supposed to be up to 84 and down to 42 tonight. Um, I definitely make sure I don't leave the swamp cooler on tonight or else we'll, I'll be having like icicles hanging from, from important body parts, if you know what I mean. Um, I just got home from having a psych evaluation and as you can see, they didn't lock me up. They had their chance, man. <laughs> Yeah, how you like that? But yeah, so I passed. I think it really will. Uh huh. It was so hard, you guys, not being a smart ass while I was there because y'all know I'm a smart ass. <laughs> but I was good and I wasn't a smart ass. And Steph, we had a really great conversation. He was a really nice guy. It went much better than the psych evaluation I had at another place where the lady had me do the stupid blot test and the part of it was on a computer and then she'd run the computer program to tell you your personality. She told me I was a danger to society. Really. I rescue dogs. I crochet. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get my sharpened crochet hook. Let me see. Let me get one in each hand here. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, she had me bawling by the time I left. That was horrible experience. This guy was super nice, super great. Explained a lot of stuff to me. Explained what happened to me before when I've lost weight and then I kind of hit that wall when everybody starts to really notice and stuff and get scared and, you know, ran went over my past uh, with um, child abuse uh, and, and different issues and uh, he even said, yeah, it would be, you know, best that you just never have contact with those family members again. And it's like, yeah. So, um... It was a really good visit. He was super nice. I passed. Going to write up a report, submit it to my surgeon. I see my surgeon Wednesday. So that's all over with. Um, my husband knew I was extremely nervous. My best friend Mary knew I was extremely nervous. I was like texting her last night. Going, I need to talk to my best friend. You know, and it's, it's, she's like, you okay? And I'm like, Ew. no, I wasn't crying. But I'm like, I have to go to the psych evaluation. She's like, you're going to be fine. I'm like, no, they're going to put white co have white coats for me. I'm going to get locked up. And, <laughs> and my husband, he's like, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I passed. See, if they'd all seen that, I would not have passed, but I passed. So, coming down the wire. Hopefully, sometime in October, probably middle of October, I'm hoping. Maybe end of October. I'll be getting whittled on. So, um... I worked, I started the uh, commissioned Afghan. It's out there. You can see the, on um, the table over. <coughs> it's so hard to forget. Right there is a container. And all the yarns in. My husband put old on top. Started that, started that. I think it's going to turn out even nicer than my husband Afghan because I'm doing a two E-wrap 
uh, rows and then a purl stitch row. And that's going to make it lay nice and flat so not going to curl up on the end and stuff. So, worked on that. Did work on, um, almost have my, uh, autumn scarf done. My scarf. My scarf done. And, um, I'm working on that. I did fold, see, I almost have this done. This one's mine. Don't fall in love. Go ahead and fall in love, because I got ten more skeins of, of, of this coming in. I can work you up some, okay? Isn't that pretty fall color, though? But, so, that's what I'll be working on today. Um, even though I, fo I folded a ton of laundry yesterday, and I stripped my bed, cleaned it up, breathed it all, we made it, cleaned my room. My husband did, like, eight loads of laundry. Well, because we had all that bedding, and then I had a bunch of bedding. You know, we, we always keep, like, blankets and, and stuff on the couch because, you know, we have all these dogs, and then they get them hairy. So once a week, I take them all off. So we probably six of those loads of laundry were all blankets and comforters and, and rugs and stuff. I mean, you know, so... Um, he did a bunch of dishes. I made tilapia last night. Um, oh, I might, I need to get my, I, I'm going to cook chicken today. It was a Southwest crock pot recipe that, um, Melissa Witt, um, had. Uh, I liked it. If you look at my likes videos, you'll see it. I'm going to make that for tonight. So as soon as I get off here, I need to go do that. Um, I got to go fold all that laundry my husband did. And he put it in on his secondary bed. Remember now, <clears throat> he has two beds. Two beds. Yeah. He got a bed up here and a bed down there. He likes to spread himself all through the house. And I just say, go right ahead, honey. If that makes you happy, go right ahead. So he does. But he puts all the laundry in on his secondary bed up here. So I have to go in. I need to fold all that. Put it all away. Um, I want to... Um, I'm not sure what I... I know I, know I got to do dishes again. Even though I did dishes yesterday. You know, when you're cooking from scratch, you always got a lot of dishes. I got to do that. And then I'm probably not going to do too much else. Um, he's going to vacuum tonight. I'll probably dust tonight. But that'll probably be about it. So I'll have time to work on my, uh, my looming and, uh, stuff. Um, I need to kind of sit and think about, I'm going to do an art piece for my youngest daughter. Um, she wrote the nicest inscription. I will have to tomorrow show you the cover of her book. <clears throat> she is a published author. Uh, and she wrote an inscription on her book that was, you know, really, uh, enduring to me and her father. So it was, it was neat. And, but I promised her, I said, you know, if you give me a book, I'll do you a, a painting. So I gotta, <clears throat> I got some ideas. I need to sit down and kind of sketch them out. But gee whiz, I need to slow down just a little bit, people, because I just feel like I'm just lately just been so busy but um so I, i'm probably not doing artwork tonight like i said i'm really wanting to get go more on that afghan and stuff you know when somebody commission you know pays you to do a piece you don't want to keep them waiting for very long and i know the afghans take a long time they take two three weeks you know because i don't work on them all the time I know some of you guys do them a lot faster and, and stuff. I just got, you know, with, with all the critters and, you know, and everything. And, yeah, I got a lot of other stuff going on. But what else? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to do... 
I don't think I has been brought up any corn. Well, I can add the corn later. But what else? I guess that's about it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm kind of at a lot because just doing all that, like I said, we leave the psych evaluations over, meets a surgeon Wednesday. Then the following Tuesday, I have a normal dietitian appointment. I haven't really eaten, written down what I've eaten too much. So they're not going to get a very good, I'll probably write down a week's worth, but, you know, they become so, you become so used to it after a while, you just don't really, oh, give me write down as much, but. Not and go into too much about psychologically about the whole thing about having the surgery and stuff. I might later on on my other channel, but for this one, I'll just you know leave it easy. Leave it easy. How are y'all doing? Are y'all doing well? Hope you are. Hope I'm looking in the right spot. Mm hmm What do I think? Hmm. Like and subscribe. Share with your friend. Show me some love. You know. Um. When I ever hit. Uh, if I hit 100 subscribers. And it stays that way for like a week or so. I'll do another giveaway of a scarf. I, I, I'll like hit 100 subscribers. And the next day it'll drop by a couple. And you've been going back and forth like that, so I've been kind of waiting. But as soon as it hits 100 subscribers and stays for a week, then I'll do another giveaway where, you know, you guys have a chance to win another scarf. Yeah, so if you're wanting a scarf, be watching for that. But I hope you all are having a great day. I know I am. And remember, I think you guys are all awesome. I appreciate all of you and your comments and, um... Uh, I read them all, and um, I do watch all of your videos. Um, I always make sure that I like them. Um, I may not always comment on all of them because, like I said, I'm 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 usually crocheting while I'm doing while I'm watching the video. So if it's important, I'll put down the crocheting and I'll I'll do I'll do you comment. You know, otherwise, if I think other people have already done comments, I'll like their comments or, you know, but if you really want me to comment and it bothers you, tell me, hey, comment, woman, and I will. But I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.